Hi guys, I'm Sanghyun Longas. I'm going to teach you how to cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. Come join me. This is Asian at home. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the most popular picnic food in Korea. We call it kimbap. Looks like sushi is really similar, but it's totally different taste and everything is cooked. So don't worry about raw food, you will like it. The first part, I cooked the rice already. It's two cups of rice, just regular short grain rice. And I rinsed off like three, four times until you see clear water. And I measure the water with my top knuckles. It's the secret of making the sticky rice in Korea. Everybody knows in Korea, but seems like nobody knows in America. That's what I'm telling you right now. You put the rice that you measure the water with the rice and turn on the heat, very high heat, until it's boiling. And when it's boiling, you're going to stir it a little bit that the rice is stuck on the bottom and you start all that out then you're going to turn the uh, reduce the heat to the low heat like not too low but kind of medium low but very low so they're going to still boiling but they're going to calm down a little bit so you're going to have a perfectly cooked rice when it's boiling reduce the heat then cook it 10 minutes perfect i'm going to put the rice over here so they're going to kind of little cool down so I can work with this easily because I'm going to touch this rice with my naked hand and I'm going to season this rice teaspoon of soy sauce uh, <laughs> teaspoon of sesame oil half teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of sugar and some sesame seed I'm going to mix that up but when you're mixing it this you don't want to mush it out you just want to kind of cut it the rice like so because you really don't want to break any rice I'm going to cover with the paper towel so they're not going to dry up I cooked the spinach already but I didn't use the Korean Asian spinach I just got the salad spinach because it's much more easier to handle it you don't have to wash it out, cut it out, and trim it out you don't have to do any kind of that kind of job so this is much more easier. I'm trying to let you know the easiest way. Oh, no, this is not easiest way. This is the second easiest way and there's the easiest way that you can do is a frozen spinach. You just throw it into the microwave. It's kind of cheating. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze out all the excess water here because we don't want soggy kimbap. You put on the bowl and I'm going to season it this. Teaspoon of sesame oil. Half teaspoon of salt, ground black pepper. All right, you mix it with your hand. Okay, this is ready. And here, I cooked the burdock roots already. If you go to Asian market, you will see like a long, skinny root that you will never buy by yourself. But I'm going to show you how to cook burdock. This one, next time. This one is not my secret ingredient for this my kimbap, so you don't have to use it if you don't have it. The two little, just regular size kettle, I'm going to slice it, diagonal angle, so I can have a longer result. Okay, cut like mm, three, four inches. And I'm going to these sliced carrots, Julian. Very finely. Normally in Korea, we're using uh, fake crab meat into the gimbap to extra flavor and stuff, but I'm not gonna use it today. When I was young, my mom made this gimbap when my sisters and I go to the picnics from the school, and I wake up by sesame oil smell. That is really nice memory. But you know what? Right now, if you go to Korea, there's a lots of kimbap restaurant. Like you can buy in like one dollar or two dollars, and it's really pretty good too. <laughs> and after that restaurant came out and got popular, my mom doesn't make kimbap anymore. I asked the mom to make a kimbap one time. Oh, mom, I want, I want your kimbap. My mom was like, "Go buy it. I want your kimbap. I miss your kimbap. Can you make it for me?" And she was like, sure. And next day, she 
get me two kimbap, which is she never made two kimbaps. When she make it, she make like 20, 30 of them one time. And I'm like, what is this? Kimbap that I made for you. Okay, whatever. And I opened it, and there's this bird in the kimbap, which is my mom never put it in the kimbap. So I'm like, mom, you're lying to me. You didn't make this kimbap. And she was like, you're, you're a ghost or something. How you can know my food that well? Well, because I grew up eating it. <laughs> anyway, actually, I'm going to cook the eggs first before the carrots. Because if you cook the carrot first, then the egg is going to uh, absorb the, the carrot color, the orange color. And I seasoned it with the salt. I put one teaspoon of meat in. And I'm going to put a very little bit of rice wine, probably like one teaspoon. With the three eggs and some black pepper. I mix it all together. And put some oil in the pan. And I'm going to use my paper towel to wipe the oil. So the pan is going to evenly coat it with the oil. Then I'm going to pull this eggs mixture, all of it. And here, this is the kiln. Like you can see a little green color, greeny black color. This is a kiln. And some people know this is as nori, but nori is from Japan and the kiln is from Korea. So the nori is a little more thicker, a little more darker color, and it's a little more sweeter, just a little different because it's a different seaweed. So I'd like to use kiln for kimbap. And I'm gonna cook this egg on the very low heat so they're not gonna burn it, the bottom, and cook through. So it's easy to flip, let them move so you can tell it's not stick to the bottom. Okay, ready to flip? Alright, it's a little brown. It's fine. Nobody gonna know because you're going to rub in the rice. <laughs> After you flip it, just cook to uh, 10 to 30 seconds because they almost cook already before the flip. And ready another cutting board. Not the dish because we're going to cut it, this egg and put some more oil. I'm going to put the carrots and I'm going to save them with a pinch of salt and black pepper. Don't season too much because every single thing, every single ingredient is going to season by itself. So when they got all together, they have to be balanced the end. Make sure the carrots getting all soft, but still a little crunch. Get the carrots ready. Oh, and the big dish. It's about three quarters pound I'm using. I'm going to season this beef. Two cloves of garlic. and a half tablespoon soy sauce and I'm going to put rice wine one and two tablespoon mirin one tablespoon put a little sesame oil and some honey 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 and just a little bit of sugar I like using honey and sugar, like a half and half like so, because I like little honey flavor into it. Okay, when you don't see any more liquid in the meat, and they are nice brown, then minutes they are done. Now I'm going to cut this egg that I, we cooked earlier. It's very cool down, so easy to handle it into half to three quarter inches and here tamuji 
So this one is actually they made for kimbap. Already cut it perfect size. So if you cannot find this one, you can find something like this. This is a pickled radish. It's a sweet, sour, the heart of kimbap. No tamuji, no kimbap. Cut. No, it's not really hard to cut. Just like so. Like that. My tamuji here. <laughs> and you can find this yellow color, like how I'm using it here, or you can find the white color. It really doesn't matter. Ready your surface. Ta da! It's a little long size, normally it's like this high. This is a sushi roller made by bamboo you can get this one in asian market small big doesn't matter you can get in asian market very easily you can find take the kim out just a couple of them because you don't want the kim to be soggy on the bamboo roller lay down the kim half cup to a little bit more how is this spread out the rice evenly you don't want too thick you see how i spread out the rice you can use your hand here too. And I'm going to put the egg first, right here, like so. And I'm going to put the spinach. Don't put too much because then later on you are having a hard time to roll it. And I'm going to put the carrots. Just right on the top. Bardock on the top of the carrots. The bardock give a little more extra soy sauce and sweetness and the crunch to the kimbap. Okay, put the meat. I'm going to put the. I'm going to grab this bamboo suit, um, this bamboo roller and the kim all together like this. Your thumbs behind the bamboo and your four fingers. Okay, kind of push down all the ingredients and just fold it up like so. You see, fold it up and secure and i'm going to roll secure one more time and roll it again and grab it like this roll it all the way and kind of press it so they're going to hold their shape right and let it come out Ta -da! here's our kimbap okay just put on Plate. And you just keep doing the process, uh, just mushroom without eggs, so you can make a vegetarian version too, right? Chop some mushrooms and season it exactly same how I do, how I did to the meat. Then it will be mushroom gimbap, vegetarian version, just forget about the egg. Then it will be really good too. And if rice is stick like this, just put, get ready a little bit of water next to you to make your fingers sweat. It out. See, not sticky. If you have leftover vegetables, you can make bibimbap by that. So you might want to make like extra spinach and carrots and the extra meats to make bibimbap. If you research my video, the uh, beef gochujang sauce, that on the top and egg fry on the top. That's the cure. Here's the trick to cut the kimbap. With your sesame oil, put a little bit on your hand. Rub the kimbap all over with the sesame oil and a little bit more for your knife. Like so. And you cut um, cut half inch thick. Look at that! Pretty! <laughs> Normally, how my mom does is cut the ends. That's mom's bite. We cannot get this bite. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. It's packed all the fibers, vitamins, and tastes good. What is better than this? Thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked this beef kimbap recipe. This is Asian at home. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Mwah.